Friday, it's been a crazy week, and this week we're gonna show you the new employee, and I'm gonna do a book review on the best marketing book you've probably never read, but the one that's gonna make a massive difference to your business. Welcome to Zoogly. Okay, of the things that have irritated more than anything else this week, it has been cold calling. I have nothing against cold calling whatsoever. You know, at the end of the day, if you've got a great product and a great business, it is in your, your duty to ring people up and tell them about it. It's your duty to email people and tell them about it. What I don't like is people constantly ringing me, constantly trying to sell me something that I don't want and I don't need. It is the worst type of sales uh, business. It's just a volume thing. They're not interested in me. They're reading off what is a terrible sales script. Please just stop it. The companies that are doing this, stop it uh, because it's just ridiculous. Okay, but we have had a new employee this week. And he's gonna say hello to you now. He's, he's just a little tiny guy. Okay, say hello everybody. This is Baby Groot. Hello, Baby Groot. Baby Groot is um, the new member of the office and he is just adorable. He's made by a friend of mine and he's made, um, he's actually 3D modeled, he's 3D printed and the is hand painted and it is absolutely amazing. This is really lifelike. Let me move out of the way so you can see him. He's pretty awesome, isn't he? So Groot's gonna be part of a new office makeover. I'm trying to make the office um, a bit more uh, personable. I'm here for another year at the very least, uh, which is part of the contract. So whilst we're here at Zoogly, I wanna make it um, more about what we're about, which is about being found. So what a bit of pizzazz. Um, what is the Zoogly about? People keep asking me this question. Well, we help people to be found online. You know, small to medium businesses, who really want to make the most of their marketing budgets, we help those people. And I also do training as well for small businesses. Now, the next trip that we've got today, I'll be back, just hold on here. This is the uh, next guy, Batman. Okay, now I'm not saying I'm Batman, but you've never seen me in the room with Batman at the same time. His little mouthpiece is there, it's uh, falling off. Well, this, this is actually a real Batman mask. And I just got it because I like Batman, and Batman's cool, and why not? And it's just the, it's just the cow, you can get these made, and this is actually wearable. Um, you can take it off there and put it on. Uh, maybe for Halloween, who knows? But um, either way, let's put the mouthpiece back in. He's pretty cool, he, I brought him from a friend, and He's our new, I'm gonna get him sorted because the mouth's stuck on properly. And he is my new uh, headpiece. I'm gonna find somewhere nice for Batman. Excuse me, Groot. Okay, so, book review time. I said we're gonna do a book review and I'll give you some digital marketing tips at the end. Book review, Hustle, okay. Now Hustle's written by Neil Patel, uh, Patrick, I can't even pronounce his name, Laskovitis, Laskovitz and Jonas Koffler. It's three persons have written this. Um, so uh, who's Neil Patel? Well, Neil Patel is this guy. Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel. And Okay, so um, Neil Patel is somebody, I, I, full disclosure here is I'm a student of Neil Patel's, and Neil Patel is one of the best digital marketers there is on the planet. He's also the one who gives most information out for free. And he's also somebody who, without his blog, I wouldn't have a business today, because that's how I really started to learn more about online marketing. I ended up being a student of the Advanced Marketing Program, which is a year-long course, and I had monthly coaching sessions with his team as well, uh, which has been really helpful in my career so far in building a business. Now, so obviously his book, Hustle, is something which I picked up when it came out. This is the first review I've done of it. But it is probably one of the most practical self-help stroke business books that you can get 
if you're trying to find a career and trying to get um, some dynamic results because inside it's packed with actual tips around the real world. Um, okay, so just give you one out of there because my review, there's a, an element of proof. One of the things around Zoogly Media and what we do in marketing is we, we have proof. We have proof of all the results we've had. We carefully track it. We've taken clients from zero to 80,000 Facebook fans. We've given them over 100,000 website visitors. You know, we're spending a penny on additional marketing, page one rankings on Google, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so the point is results, proof. Not many marketing agencies and not many SEO agencies, search engine optimization, actually provide proof. And that proof is something which has helped me to gain more work and more clients. Now, um, Hustle talks about using proof to go and get work. So it is a really practical book. It's packed full of tips like how to get over when you, you're, not, you're not right, um, you're not feeling up, you know, excited about doing something. There's a little tip in there that's fantastic, and it is literally packed. I don't earn any money for this review. It is literally packed with great tips on um, how you can change your life, grow your business, and hustle. Hustle. That's the big word, isn't it? These days, it's about moving forward and getting stuff done. So many of you won't have read this book. It's probably not as popular, although it, it did have. Uh, a lot of sales, um, but I've never seen it in a bookshop. So if you haven't read it, go online, pick up a copy. I highly, highly recommend it. Um, I don't think Neil Patel actually wrote that much in it. I think he was obviously gave a lot of the tips and advice, and then the other guys might have read it. I don't know. But it's still a fantastic book. And, and Neil Patel's blog, neilpatel.com and quicksprout.com, are great resources if you want to learn about digital marketing as well. So... What next? Okay, so it wouldn't be Zoogly or wouldn't be a Zoogly vlog unless I gave you some tips. I think that's what I'm trying to do with this vlog. I'm new to vlogging, uh, it's interesting. I'm finding it interesting documenting my life and my journey and I'm trying to get more natural in front of the camera so it's a bit of a challenge for me as well. So I'm 38, I'm not young and I'm still a little bit shy believe it or not. Okay, so um, my tip today is around digital marketing or marketing for any small business. And the problem with most small businesses is that you are marketing incorrectly because you're surrounded by poor advice. And when you go and ask a marketing company, what they do is they give you advice based on them earning business from it. That, that, and that's true. So if you go to a, a web company and they're gonna tell you, you need a website. You go to a logo company, they're gonna tell you, you need a new logo. And sometimes they're right, and sometimes, or a lot of the time, they're wrong. When it comes to marketing, you need a strategy. But let's explain what a strategy is. A strategy is the brain work of your marketing. It's gonna allow you to decide who you wanna to market to. And the person you wanna to market to is the most important person. Not you, not the marketing company, not the logo agency, not the web designers, the most important person you're marketing to is the person you want to change, the person you want to come and be your customer. And that's where most people go wrong. Until you find out who that person is, then you're not gonna have any success. It doesn't matter if you have five new websites, it doesn't matter if you have 10 new logos, it doesn't matter if you get a million leaflets. Until you figure out who you want to market to, you're going to struggle with your marketing. So, what's marketing about? Marketing is about creating change. Change, that's it. You wanna change somebody. You want John to stop spending his money in the sandwich shop down the road or at the subway. You want John to spend in your new sandwich shop. You want him to change and you've gotta to market to John to change. You might want the local business to stop using the person they've got a contract with for sandwiches and come to you. You want them to change. You're marketing to them. And each different person you're marketing to requires a different type of, of marketing. And, and that's the simple truth. So you have to decide who you're gonna to market to, what type of person, what kind of a culture, or what type of business, and then gear everything towards that. That's the first decision you've gotta make. 
Now that's before you have a website. Most people don't need new websites. Some do, most don't. So that's my number one tip for today is you've got to know the person you're marketing to before you start doing any marketing. And before you go and even employ a marketing agency or a web design agency or even build it yourself, you've got to decide who your target is. Now, more importantly, you've got to decide who your target isn't going to be. Just because he is somebody you want or she is somebody you want, you need to go and decide. So it doesn't matter whether you're a sandwich shop, like I've just said, or you're a joiner, a carpenter, or a roofing company, or um, a car dealership. You've got to decide who you're going to be the marketer to, who you're going to market to, and who you don't want to market to. So hope that clears that up. Hope that makes things nice and simple. It's just a little tip I've, I've given to you at the end of this vlog. Um, and that's pretty much a wrap. I've got a full Friday worth of work to do. Tonight I'm going out for some beers, and um, who knows, I might put some of that in next week's vlog. So uh, have a great weekend, everybody, and thank you for watching.